digestive system works. What happens to our food after we eat them? Our food's journey begins in the mouth. When we eat, our teeth tear and break the food into smaller pieces. Our saliva starts to break down the food and turn it into a ball-like mixture of food and digestive juices. Saliva also moistens our food, making it easier to swallow. Next stop is the esophagus. It is a hollow tube that connects our mouth to our stomach. After we swallow, our food travels down this tube as it encounters powerful squeezes and squishes. Now, we're in the stomach. A stretchy bag that squishes and mixes the food with stomach juices. As the ball-like mixture turns into a frothy liquid, it is now ready to move into the intestine. The intestine has two sections, the small intestine and the big intestine. Our food gets broken down even more in the small intestine, and our body takes all the nutrients from it. The three helpers make this process possible, liver, pancreas and gallbladder. They release digestive juices that help break down fats, proteins and carbohydrates. The large intestine then takes out all the water. From what was left of our food, the result is a solid mass, called stool. The stool enters the rectum for temporary storage, before it comes out of the body, through the anus. The digestive system plays an important role in breaking down our food. Our food's journey starts in our mouth, travels through our esophagus, stomach, and intestine, and then leaves through the anus. If you could take a journey through the digestive system, just like our food, which part would you be most excited to see up close and why?